What's up everybody, this is Professor Otavio Souza here. I'm a black belt, fourth degree under Master Carlos Gracie Jr., three times black belt world champion. And this is my school, Gracie Barra Huntington Beach. I'm the head instructor of Gracie Barra Huntington Beach. And it's a pleasure to have you guys visiting our school. Come inside so I can show you guys more around. Welcome to Gracie Barra Huntington Beach, guys. This is my academy. We're having the, the Little Champions 2 right now going on the kids' class, you know. I was teaching the earliest class, which is like from four to six years old. We have like several different classes for kids from four years old all the way to, to 15, 16, and then the adults, beginners and advanced class. So everybody's training hard right now. And some of the students will be competing the, the IBGF one as well. It's gonna be on the same day, April 20th. So everybody's getting ready right now for for those events, yeah? Here's the, the pro shop, you know, so we have the geese, the, the clothes. I just got my new uh, Gracie Bar Huntington Beach shirt. So it's available if you guys wanna get yours, you guys can stop by anytime. I'm very grateful for the amazing group of coaches that I have here. They always on the mats with, with us, like with me, teaching the kids class, helping them out, make sure everybody's safe, you know, make sure everybody's having fun and to push everyone hard, so. I'm grateful to have them always supporting me when I need them, you know? Uh, hello, hello. This is me on the cover of the magazine, the Jiu Jitsu magazine. There's another uh, cover of the magazine, I don't, know if you want, I don't know if you want to take a look. That was on the Grace Mag. I think, I believe that was one of the first one that I got the cover, you know? Showing the mysteries of the close guard, my specialty. <laughs> This is the woman's change room. The guy's change room is over there. And we have another bathroom like for the staff, you know? And those medals was one of, one of my first accomplishments. You know, like the Brazilian Nationals, like 2000, that was of my, one of my major tournaments, the first one. And after I won the, the, the Brazilian Nationals as a yellow belt, I never stopped competing anymore, you know? That was one of the biggest ones and kept me motivated to, to continue, like to work hard and, and work, win more titles, you know? So, those two was a yellow as a yellow belt. This one was a, as a blue belt juvenile, and this one I was still a juvenile, but I ended up winning as an adult. Because I have a funny story. Like some of my, my friends, they used to make funny of me, like saying, "Oh, you just won because you were like uh, how can I say yellow belt?" Like the the young division messing around with me, making a joke. And I told him, "You know what? This." In 2003, I'm gonna register as an adult. I was already like a juvenile, like maybe 16, 17, I'm not too sure. But I was able to win the adult division. So that was my fourth one. And I won one more as a black belt. But I still have a lot of medals that I didn't put on the wall yet. I'm planning to, to make something nice and put all my medals like in the academy. This was me and Calazans competing in the finals. That was the year that I won my first uh, title as a black belt. So it was me and Claudio Calazans like competing uh, in the finals. We ended up like fighting after that like four more times. So all like in finals, you know. The following year, I ended up like fighting with him again in the finals. Thank God I was able to win one more time. And the third time, I, I closed out the division with Gabriel Wages, one of my great friends and teammates as well, so. And those ones is like the, from the worlds, you know, in the color belts. So in 2002, I got like second place. 2003, that's when I won as a blue belt. I won in pretty much all, all the belts, you know? 2005, as a purple belt. And then 2007, I was able to win the absolute as a brown belt, you know? I got like second on my weight division and I won the open class. And then 2008 was my first year as a black belt. So I kept hitting the poles until 2008 was my first year. I managed to go on that year, like pretty much all the tournaments, like to the to the podium, you know. And I keep hitting the pools until like 2012. That's when I was able to win my first first title as a black belt, you know. And here's like some of my my the main accomplishments that I have, which was winning like the the worlds as a black belt in the IBJJF, you know. So that was the first year, 2012, 2013. I, I was able to win the second year in a row, 2014. I ended up getting second place, lost to Leandro Law in the finals. 2015, I got third, and 2016, I was able to win again. I was uh, able to close out my weight division with Gabriel Wages, which is a great friend of mine. 
you know, teammate as well. So we used to train all the time. So that's why we didn't fought at the end. This is me closing out the medium heavy weight division with Professor Romulo Bajao. That was when I first moved to the US. You know, I came to compete the, the No Gear Worlds in, 2000, in 2009 and I, and I stayed for good after that, you know. So uh, very grateful to have the opportunity to, to, to close out the division with Romulo Bajao. He's a great friend of mine, somebody that I always look up to. Nice one, guys. So it was an honor and pleasure to have you guys like here in my school, like showing you guys a little bit of my my history, showing my academy, see my students training. You know, you guys are always welcome. And if you guys have any any more questions, like I mentioned before, I'm always here, like Monday through Saturday. You know, this is my second home. I think I spend more time here than in my house. You know, so you guys are always welcome to stop by. Feel free to check us out on the website as well, uh, gracebahahb.com. Nice one, guys.